I'm super excited, man. Like, volcanoes uh, over the years. I, I, I wanted to be many things when I was a kid. I wanted to be a paleontologist, which I would always point out people's different to be an archaeologist. But paleontology, <laughs> um, I wanted to do astronaut, and I went to sign up for the RAF, and I found out it was really it would take a lot of work to go and be an astronaut, so I didn't do that. Then I wanted to be an astronomer, so I went and did that. But like, the my a lot of my early birthday parties were spent in the National Museum here in Wales, looking, looking at rocks. Like, I literally have a rock collection uh, back home uh, that is full of my all my favorite favorite rocks. And it's played such a such a big part of my life. But it wasn't until I think my f the first volcano I stepped on was when I started my company, uh, which was all about science communication and the outdoors and getting that back into classrooms. And we went to do live rec live Skype classroom lessons from Mount Etna. And I mean, we were on the on a call to a school in I think it was Nebraska, and. Um, uh, our uh, chemist that was that was with us, Sue's, she was doing a, a talk to camera uh, to these kids out in Nebraska, and the volcano started go started going off behind us. Huh. Just a big, just a big smoke plume. I was oddly aware of how quiet it is sometimes when they when they go off. Like I didn't hear anything, but there was this massive cloud of ash at the back of it but instead of like doing anything else we were like get the cameras <laughs> just, like, all picked up cameras started taking photos of it so that I, it holds a special place for me volcanoes because it helps start this part of my career and i'm always thankful for it yeah well particularly that experience as well you know you brought live volcanic activity to the center of nebraska an area not commonly yeah. known for its volcanic activity <laughs> Absolutely so not. who knows how many young volcanologists um, or scientists you uh, inspired during that, that event. I know, I know there are many people that it probably would have done. For the full conversation, head over to the Vulcan Knowledge website or search Vulcan Knowledge wherever you listen to your podcasts.